Hello everyone, it's Gavin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can participate in delegated voting on Moonbeam. As you may know, Moonbeam relies on conviction and token-weighted voting to determine the future direction of the network. Accordingly, Moonbeam has a regular pipeline of governance proposals that range from small administrative matters to mission-critical runtime upgrades. It's important to have strong community turnout in each of these referenda. However, you might not wish to participate in each one. Maybe you only want to vote on the most important ones, or maybe you'd prefer to check in periodically on Moonbeam governance. To that end, Moonbeam has introduced a voting delegation system where you can delegate some or all of your voting power to a community member that you trust. This community delegate can vote on your behalf without you having to lift a finger. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started delegating our voting power. So you can head to delegate.moonbeam.network and you'll see the homepage here with lots of different delegates. Now, anybody can actually become a delegate. They do not need to specifically sign up to be one. Uh, you can delegate your votes to anybody on the network. And you can do that by heading to the four token holders and then pressing delegate tokens. And you can delegate your tokens to any address. They do not need to sign up at all. However, all delegates listed here have specifically raised their hands and said, yes, I want to be a delegate. Additionally, there is an optional higher level of verification, and that is the community delegate status. A community delegate is a verified individual who has confirmed their social media handles. You can identify community delegates by this badge beneath their score, and you can also filter the list based on community delegates by using the status dropdown here. You can click on a profile to read more about the delegate. So let's go ahead and click on sick here. And you can see a description that they provided. You can see the tracks uh, that they're a delegate for. Importantly, you can also check out their voting history. And this will show you all of the details uh, about the referenda that they voted for, as well as the direction that they voted for. Suppose I'm ready to go ahead and nominate Sick as my delegate. Um, you can go ahead and press select as delegate. And the first thing that we're gonna select is the number of tokens that we wish to delegate. Now, the app will automatically uh, choose your entire account balance, so you may wish to change this. As an example, I'll just uh, delegate to Glimmer. And next, we're going to select the exact track um, that you'd like to delegate your tokens for. Um, you can only select one track per delegation. Um, you can come back to the same delegate if you'd like. So we could, let's say, do general admin first. We can come back later um, and then do root, for example. Um, but you do have to do one at a time. So we'll choose general admin in this case. For more information about each of the tracks and what type of proposals conform to each track, be sure to check out the link in the description. And lastly, we're gonna choose a conviction. This is similar to the conviction of a regular vote on a Moonbeam referendum. However, rather than the lock period beginning after a referendum's voting period ends, the lock period in a delegation uh, begins actually when you undelegate your funds. If you choose a conviction of zero, you can immediately undelegate and you can gain access back to your funds right away. If you've specified a higher conviction, you can undelegate your funds and then you'll need to return back to unlock them after the lock period has elapsed. I'm gonna choose a lock period of zero in this case. Go ahead and press continue. And we'll go ahead and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And our delegation is confirmed. So let's go ahead and choose a, another delegate um, in this case, I'm going to choose uh, Black Magic to serve as my delegate for the root track. I'm also going to specify uh, a smaller amount of glimmer here. And of course, we'll choose a conviction. In this case, we'll choose zero. I'm going to go ahead and press continue. And we'll confirm the transaction at MetaMask. And our delegation is confirmed. If you'd like to check the status of your delegations, you can do so at any given time by heading up to the four token holders menu and clicking on Delegate Lookup. Here, go ahead and copy and paste in your address, and you'll be able to see all the different delegations that you have. In this case, I've delegated to Glimmer to the root track, and I've also delegated to Glimmer uh, to the general admin track. Keep in mind that you can change your delegate at any point in time. And if you'd like to undelegate your tokens, you can do so um, very easily. All you have to do is go up here, to for token holders and go ahead and press undelegate. Remember that if you've selected a conviction period greater than zero, your tokens will not be available for immediate undelegation. In this case, I chose a conviction of zero, so I can go ahead and immediately undelegate these. 
um, and you do need to do them one at a time. So let's go ahead and do just that. We'll remove uh, and undelegate our tokens for the general admin track. We'll go ahead and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Lastly, I just want to clarify one thing about the mechanics of delegating your tokens uh, to a delegate. At no point in time do they have access to your Glimmer. They can't spend it. They can't trade it. It actually uh, stays in your account. The only thing is that you will see your balance decrease in MetaMask, and that's because uh, MetaMask is looking for your free balance in the Ethereum API. And when you delegate tokens, those tokens will now live under a reserved balance. And if you'd like to see that reserved balance, you can just head to moonbeam.subscan.io and you can go ahead and see your reserved balances. If this part isn't expanded, go ahead and expand it. And you can see that your free balance here in this example is 9.1 and you have a reserved balance of two Glimmer, uh, which is the exact amount that we've delegated. Thank you so much for watching this video, introducing you to voting delegation. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us in Discord. We'd be more than happy to help. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.